across to it. Right, it seems as though there's dogs all around this afternoon. We have another just running through the grass. There they go. I haven't quite worked out who it is just yet. Let me go up a little bit further, Senzel. Um, so they were just at Chitwa Dam, actually. Dylan asked Dylan if the dam wall was open. We couldn't quite copy them. I'm going to jump in front of him very quickly so we can have a look. But how nice is that? This is a pack of children at the moment. I don't know if it's maybe the other the other pack of three they're coming this way I really hope that they continue going north because if so then they're going to cross on onto our traverse and we'll be able to continue following them here through the bushes through the long grass we're going to try and keep up with them we're just going to keep moving slowly because as you know dogs don't stop they just keep going too there they go so we'll just try and pan next to them like this hey <laughs> seems a nice job that was very cool they're coming this way they're looking for something to eat taken down now could be a nyala could be a bushbuck even a young kudu young zebra foal anything along those lines is what they would actually uh, be going after now they they're just running they're not on chitwa anymore so we can't go in here we're right on the boundary we're on gari main there they go so we'll try and stick with them as we go along this is a very cool shot senzo i like this nice work my friend I, I enjoy basically when you're on safari with us, safari with us, and you're going after dogs. It's not always them coming straight towards the vehicle. Sometimes you've just got to watch them and drive very, very slowly along the way. But there they go. And this is this is slow moving for dogs. This is the equivalent of a brisk walk for you and I. And they can keep this up for hours and hours and hours. They can just go, go, go. They can even run for very, very fast. Uh, at, for long distances. Now they're just slightly changing. They're going more west. They might still turn, remember. If dogs pick up on something, they've got those big, large, conical-shaped ears that are able to pick up even the slightest of sounds and they will react. It's sort of opening up slightly. They're still coming this way, I think. Let's just go up a little bit further. Let's wait here at this junction and see if they come down this side. I'll just turn the call slightly. Here we go. Hey, doll. There goes Dylan, Brent's brother. <laughs> you just saw him drive fast. He, sh he was too busy going wee. Now, I'm just trying to figure out where exactly they're going to pop out. I think I just saw movement in this monkey orange. Check there they are. Nice spot, Senzel. Please come north. Please come north. I haven't been able to identify just yet as to which pack this is, as you can imagine, it's proving to be quite difficult. Hopefully they'll cross the drainage line and then go towards Baboon Pan. Let's go towards Baboon Pan. And that's all dull. Yo, dull, thanks so much. I'm gonna keep trying to follow them. I'm gonna go stand by Baboon Pan. Maybe they come that side. <laughs> How great is this? Just Dylan and I driving around here. No, Cheryl, you said it's a wild That is a nice surprise. So they're still coming through here. Let me see if I can get a view, because I do want to watch them. Uh, we have had a couple of sightings here with leopards before, from Shungile to Hosana to Tumba to Tandi, and there's often impala around in this area. Let me just switch off very quickly. Dylan, I think, is going in. I can see his car now. He's just gone off-road. I can hear some Franklin shouting. Still haven't seen a Franklin, by the way. Let's keep going. Let's go wait in the Mulwati, maybe. I can't see them anymore. But they move. Who they think this is. And also, Chantal, how many other dogs and which packers does Byron have? Sorry, I don't know ever this information. So I can't 